Fruit Haven 4. A 23.5 hectare or 58 acre property in southeast Ecuador in between Gualaquiza and El Pangi. It has a few hundred meters of riverfront along the Rio Zamora. It's right next to Fruit Haven properties 1, 2, and 3, so there are a lot of really cool neighbors. We are trying to gather a group of people to buy this property. We are primarily looking for raw vegans, frugivores, eritists, and people who eat a whole foods plant-based diet that is all or mostly raw. People who are interested in permaculture and organic farming. People who want to make their own homestead and grow their own fruits and vegetables. People who are considering starting a family and need a safe environment for that. People who want to form a thriving community, uh, economy, and ecosystem of fruit-loving humans who grow food without chemicals and build structures in an eco-friendly manner. People who want to buy land in a legally safe way, with their name on the title, and a contract between property owners specifying lots and land use and other important things. There are at least two other raw vegan communities I know of who have taken people's life savings for a supposed share in the community land and um, given them no proper legal documents to show for it, just a promise that this land is yours. One of them has kicked people out later on without giving them their money back. Well, after years of that type of scenario being your only option, we at Fruit Haven have decided it's time for someone to offer group land buys for raw vegans without scamming them. Right now we have 27 landowners co-owning four different properties with both numbers climbing each year. The Fruit Haven 4 property is mostly pasture with some forest on the upper part of the hill. The terrain mostly consists of rolling hills and gentle slopes with some flat areas that are good for building houses. We will divide the private homestead lots based on the topography of the land. So everyone has some flat areas for building, some sloped areas for planting, and sometimes a bit of steep land in the back. This is an example of what the lot map might look like once we buy the property. Each 5% shareholder will get a 0.8 hectare or 2 acre private homestead lot. Since there will be 20 shares in total, this is 16 hectares of homestead lots. The land is 23.5 hectares, so what do we do with the rest of the land? Well, part will be the community area. Part will be used by the access roads, and the highest, steepest part of the land will be set aside as an ecological reserve. If you want more than 0.8 hectares, that's fine. You can buy two or three shares with adjacent lots so that you will have more land. Um, we plan to make an access road through this property with driveways as necessary for people to easily access their homestead lots. The property is very accessible because it's right next to this bridge across the Rio Zamora. The bridge can be crossed on foot, bicycle, or motorcycle, but not yet ATV or car as it's not wide enough. In the next few years, the provincial government of Morona Santiago has plans to widen the bridge so that a car or pickup truck will be able to cross it. When that happens, the access will be even easier. They have already started making the road to the north that will come from San Jose, go through Fruit Haven 1 and Fruit Haven 2, and connect to the bridge. In February 2020, the mayor of Gualaquiza visited the bridge with the architect to, to do an official inspection and begin planning the bridge project. There are some great benefits to buying land near Fruit Haven and Terra Frutis, the two permaculture communities in this area. First, we have brought amazing rare plant genetics from all over the world. We've spent the last five years sourcing everything from Emperor Lychee to Kong Kong, Redlands White Sapote to Ruby Supreme 1030 Guava, even Chini Durian and Black Gold Jackfruit. And of course, you can't forget about Fijian Longan, Achacha, and Mangosteen. We've made it really easy for you to start your fruit forest. Not only that, but we've scoured the country finding sources for things like borax and linseed oil to treat wood, natural remedies for insect problems in fruit trees, and other eco-friendly building materials and implements. We have many workers trained in our preferred permaculture techniques, as well as reliable contractors and construction workers who can help to build your house. 
Rather than starting by yourself, alone, in some other tropical country that probably has super high land prices and a high risk of natural disaster, come to Ecuador and join us in our little valley behind the Andes Mountains. You'll find it much easier to start a tropical fruit forest and permaculture homestead with a network of support that we've been building for five years. Property Development Budget What's in the development budget and who pays for it? Well, the property development budget covers the development of a community area, a water system that feeds pressurized water to all lots, an access road and driveways, mapping the homestead lots, tools and equipment for owners to use to develop their lots, and other expenses that make things go smoother. It covers property taxes, which by the way are insignificantly low here, and also keeping the property boundary marked and maintained to prevent future boundary disputes. The FH4 property development budget should be sufficient for about four to five years. After that, each owner should expect to pay around $300 per year per 5% share to cover maintenance of the road and driveways, maintenance of the community area, and other basic shared expenses. Development within one's private homestead lot is the financial responsibility of the owner. However, the Fruit Haven team is more than happy to help you get a house built or fruit trees planted even if you are not here. Let's take a brief look at the uh, Fruit Haven 4 property development budget, which is $100,000 in total. All right, you can take a look under major capital improvements. We have some important things here, like cooking up electric electricity to the community area, uh, constructing a community cabin with one or two bedrooms that can either be used by owners or rented out in a communal kitchen area. Uh, make it easier for people who are starting to develop their properties. Obviously the access road, the driveway, um, some tool storage and a fence around the community area, things like that. We want to install the internet, which is going to involve a small um, a, a pole with an antenna to get broadband internet and various hardware. And we want to map out all the homestead lots, obviously, which involves a lot of topography and permanent marker posts in the corners. Um, various things for the community area, compost bin, we have a water system that will serve the whole property. Um, we realize uh, at some point that there's no playground or exercise area like Jungle Gym at any of the Fruit Haven properties, so we figure we could put one in Fruit Haven 4 and that would be great. Um, various agricultural expenses, um, we may get a quad to help people get around the property, um, a, a, a weed whacker and perhaps some um, wood chipper rototiller, things like that that are helpful for agricultural use, um, part-time farm labor to help take care of the community area, clear the property boundaries, things like that. Um, obviously you need fuel, obviously you need some fruit trees for the community area, and then down at the bottom we have some administrative costs, um, a water filtration system in the, in, the, in the house. So there's a lot of pretty reasonable things here, and each of these items is broken down into um, the expenses that make it up. Um, which are, of course, on the other tabs of the spreadsheet. If you're interested in checking that out, it's on the website on the Free Heaven 4 page, uh, or it's linked to um, if you're interested in seeing some more detail on the property development budget. So this land costs $100,000. When we buy the land, we need some additional funds, about $10,000, to do the surveying and mapping of lots, which is fairly expensive, and starting on some other projects like marking the boundaries, digging the root of the driveway, and whatever else is necessary to sell the remaining lots. Now I said remaining lots, what does that mean? Well, if we plan for 20 5% shares in the property, and each share costs $10,000, that means the project is valued at $200,000. The land is $100,000, and the development budget is $100,000. But it's hard to find $200,000 up front it's much easier to find $110,000. That's the land price plus the initial $10,000 that we need to map the lots and get some other projects moving. This in turn makes the land more enticing for the nine additional buyers who will join the project in the future. If we find 11 people who put in $10,000 each, we have $110,000, just enough for the land and the initial $10,000 of the development budget. Also, since there are 11 owners, they initially have more than a 5% share. They each will have an 11.11% .11 share. Once we buy the land, we use those initial development funds to map 20 0.8 hectare lots 
and those 11 owners will pick a lot for themselves. At that point, the remaining 9 lots still need owners, and we still need $90,000 to completely fund the development budget. So over the next 1-2 to two years, we find 9 more owners. We sell them an equal share of the initial buyer's portion, so that the initial buyers end up with 5% each. The funds from the 9 new owners are used to, defend, um, to fund the development budget, so when all is said and done, there are 20 shareholders, each shareholder has a 5% share with a 0.8 hectare homestead lot. Some people might have 2 or 3 shares, but the math is the same, though in that case there would obviously be less than 20 people. Also, each person at that point will have invested 5k into the land and 5k into the development budget. If you have any questions about the lot resale process or how we credit or value the funds, please feel free to ask below in the comments or send an email to fruithaven at protonmail.com. By the way, this is explained in more detail in other videos on the topic as well as on the group land buys page on the Fruit Haven website, but the property development expenditures are accounted for using double entry accounting software and all owners can see the live updated accounting file on our cloud server at any time. Our private cloud server also hosts important property documents that are accessible to the owners at any time, and photo updates of various ongoing projects. We send out a financial report twice a year. We use the same accounting system for private homestead lot accounts. If people send funds for managing their lot, building a house, adding infrastructure, etc. One more cool thing about being a property owner here is that once a month you receive a newsletter in your email with project updates on all of the Fruit Haven properties. I mentioned that it is easier to find $110,000 than it is to find $200,000. Well, it is, but it's also hard to get 11 people all lined up and ready to invest 10k each. It's like herding cats. Some will get bored and buy a free haven lot that's for sale on a property we already have, rather than waiting for FH4 or FH6 to have enough investors to go through with the sale. Others will drop out for various other reasons. So, it's even easier if we have one or two people who are putting in larger amounts, so the initial purchase is just a handful of people. Later on, those who invested larger amounts can sell off the excess of their shares that they don't want so that they end up with 5% or 10% or whatever their desired share size is. Or they can sell everything and walk away happily with their commission. Oh, did I mention the commission? Uh, seed investors in Fruit Haven properties, in other words, the people who are the first to buy the land as a group land buy, will receive a commission of around 10% of the principal that is resold to new buyers later on. So there are two good reasons to buy a big chunk at first. To help the group buy happen faster and to earn a commission as we find more buyers later on. Even 5% seed investors will earn a small commission on the percent of their share that is technically resold as we bring their 11.11 .11 or whatever percent initial ownership down to 5%. The land we are calling Fruit Haven 4 is a great property and it would be really awesome to fill this cow pasture up with fruit trees and permaculture homesteads. At the time of the making of this video we already have at least 5 seed investors confirmed and we need some more people so that we have the funds necessary to buy the property and get started. You can find out more information on the group land buy process at our website. Go to fruithaveneaglevillage.com and click group land buys at the top. There's a link below the video. You can also email us at fruithaven at protonmail.com. There are many ways to join the fruit revolution and secure your future, but starting a homestead at Fruit Haven is probably one of the best ways. Please subscribe to our channel and we look forward to hearing from you.